Good morning, guys. All right, so I work tonight, and it's shift one of two. Which is kind of nice. Don't have three in a row. But it's one of two, and then I have off, and then I have three. So I think this vlog I'll just do today. We're resetting. And then I think I'll do like a three-day night shift vlog. It's January 10th. It's 2.52. It's, so it's 3 o'clock. So I have an hour and a half until... Wait, i got to schedule my Orange Theory class. So when I schedule the Orange Theory class, the class that works best for me is going from 4.30 to 5.30. Then I change from 5.30 to 6, shower at the place, go to work 6 to 6.30, and then clock in. And I'm there. So let's see if the 4.30 is open. It better be. There's a wait list. I should have done it last night. Maybe I'll get off the wait list. Okay, hopefully I get off the wait list. I forgot one of the locations near us closed. So everyone's coming to ours. Are closed right now for renovations. Okay, so we're gonna now make coffee, which I try not to do before shift because I need some also tonight during the shift to get me through. But I'll just get Starbucks again. It's fine. We'll do a double coffee. I need to plan and write things in here. I struggle. How do you guys keep track of your plans? This is my um, Erin Condren planner. I can link it. I love her. But I'm always on the go and I don't have her and I can't like write in her every time I make plans. So I try to go on my phone, but I hate the phone calendars. They don't work for me. I don't know. I never look at them. So we're going to write in here. But what do you guys do? Let me know. Seriously, because I love planners and I love writing. But again, I don't always have this. So we're going to write some events because I feel like I have so many and I can't keep track of them and I hate that. I don't work tonight. What is going on? Am I okay? Guys, am I okay? I literally... <laughs> Wait, this just makes everything so different. Because I was getting so confused. I was like... I can do so much now. So I've been <clears throat> writing in dates and I'll show you guys. I'm responding to my managers' emails and just emails. I'm about to call because I'm doing a brand deal with a LASIK company to get LASIK eye surgery at a really good place in New York. And I'm gonna call them to schedule the appointment. Hi, my name's Anna. And I've been trying to um, schedule an appointment for LASIK and they told me to just call direct and wow I'm in the best mood ever I'll update you guys on everything I've been doing for now I'm gonna have this banana bread slice I've only almost eaten the whole loaf it's literally so good I'm in the best mood ever like I can do so many things y'all I've been struggling I've been like being productive but also not and like I've been more stressing about the things I have to do. Like now it's 5.30, it's pitch black dark outside. And instead of like doing things, I've been stressing about doing things. But we did get LASIK eye surgery appointment booked. We're gonna do it the 26th. What else did I plan? At 9.30, it'll be perfect because to recover, you're supposed to lay in the dark with your eyes closed for like a couple hours. So I'm gonna go after work. I work the 25th into the 26th, go at 9.30 in the morning and then go back and sleep because I'll be tired. I'm excited, that's gonna like change my life. What else did I book? Me and Autumn are doing something very special Friday night. Very excited this Friday. Still need to order my meds. I just did my revolve picks. I'll show you those in a second. I need to set up my new phone and then I need to clean up. Haven't done any of that. I don't know what I've been doing. I need to edit. Oh, I've been stressing about Orange Theory because I'm on the wait list. And I was supposed to get a lymphatic drainage massage tomorrow, but we're moving it because I work tomorrow night and we have to be up for an 8 a.m. residency meeting. I'm in a residency program. We have meetings once a month and it's so annoying because we're fine now, like, I don't know, it's just annoying. So it's at 8 a.m. and I work that night. And normally I like to sleep late and then do things and then go to work, but I have to wake up at 8 a.m. So I'm trying to pair things then so then I can nap before work, even though I don't do it, things like that normally. I have to, so I'm gonna do the residency meeting, work out at Orange Street at 11, then nap until work. And I was supposed to get a lymphatic drainage, but they're, they're booked tomorrow and I don't want to go at three because then I'd have to wake up, residency meeting, sleep, wake up, so, like just awkward timing. So we're gonna reschedule that. Oh, three. Oh no, that's in a couple minutes. I won't make that one. I'm on the wait list. There's, for one that starts in like 
10 minutes, there's a wait list at three, and then there's one at seven, which is an hour and a half, there's a wait list at five. So I don't know if I'm gonna get on it and I need to work out and it's so annoying. I go to another location, but I'm not trying to subway just to go to Orange Theory. Let me show you guys though what I ordered from Revolve. I focused on basics. This guy, really cute. We'll go under Renting a Skims. This brown jumper I've been wanting in so many months of my picks. Finally got her. Black jumpsuit to go under. It's the Rimmy Times Revolve. This shirt is stunning for like dinners. This I feel like I'll wear out a lot. Nice dinners, etc. I can layer. I don't have a white bustier top, so we need her. This white lace top, so pretty. This chill top, love. Brown top is stunning. Navy top, bodysuit. I don't have a little black dress like this. Need new black leather pants. And a brown skirt I've been eating, so pretty proud of it. Okay, it's now like six. I'm assuming Orange Theory is gonna go open up. I'm not gonna kill myself to go work out. I'm not gonna do it. So in the meantime, let's start on my new phone. We're gonna activate her. Really the same one, I have the 13 Pro. This one, if I didn't show you guys, just the camera shattered. Use your instructions on it. Power off your device. The phones are transferring. Guys, ever since, uh, I mean, that update's going, and now I'm about to be Bob the Builder. Let me find the picture of what we're building. It's this for my bathroom. We can do it, it's been a minute since we've been Bob the Builder. So really all you do with these things is, me teaching you guys, this is a build with me. It says piece 9, 10, and 11, and then you see like there's like little, or 9, 10, 9, 11, and 12, and like there's a little 12 in the corner. So now I know these pieces go together, and then I take my tools, and then I nail them together, or screw them together. storage we had and now we're gonna fix it with this I'm so excited literally it's just sitting like okay it looks so good here I put the cleaning supplies and here I just did like extra supplies and extra TP and then here I did like my to-go bags and then up here I'll keep my beautiful beautiful Dyson because it's pretty on its own and it fits perfect I'm so happy this was so worth it all right, the time is 8.42 and I just spent the past hour writing down my New Year's resolutions and goals and then I made a vision board and I'm so excited. So we're gonna go through my 2023 goals. And I'm gonna talk about them. I know it's late, I know it's January 10th already, but like it's never too late at the same time, you know? I just get stressed out about New Year's goals because I'm like, like I'm at a point this year, last year I achieved so much, like the NCLEX getting a job, moving to New York. So then this year I was kind of like, what is there for me to do, you know? Not like, oh, I've succeeded, like, chill. But kind of just like, I don't want to say unmotivated, but kind of like, what, I got my nursing job, what can I do, try and keep it? Like, I, you know what I mean? But I did some ones for, like, lifestyle. And first one is Orange Theory Fitness, four to ten, five times a week. I feel like I've been averaging, like, three. Um, it just depends. I'm not going to push myself. But I feel so good after I do it. And no, I couldn't get into that class tonight. Not scrolling immediately in the morning. I literally wake up and scroll and it's so bad for my eyes. I need to like drink some water, get up, do other things. Better self-talk. I want to look in the mirror and just look at myself better, feel about myself better, talk about myself better. Because this is the body God gave me. And I need to love it more. Skincare pre and post shift. A lot of times post shift I just go to bed. I want to be able to do skincare before my shift I always do and then after before I go to bed because it'll be better and just get in a routine of that I want to start a podcast more details on that to come with someone I want to hit 250k on YouTube I think I'm at 117k right now so that'd be a big jump but I think we can do it if we stay consistent 700k on TikTok I think I'm at like 550k and then 200k on Insta I'm at 180k and Insta I don't care as much but it's just very hard to grow on there I want to read one book a month or at least 15 minutes a day that's hard because sometimes I'm in my reading era and I go, 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 and then I'll go months without. So just focus more on reading. Eight plus brand deals a month. 
And so that is based on my managers giving me more the more they see I can handle. So I want to prove to them that I can handle a lot, get more brand deals, and make more money. Because everyone, I don't think it's like chuggy gold and want to make more money. Like everyone wants to make more money, you know? So you can live your best life and have the lifestyle you want. Not saying money is the most important, obviously. Less Uber Eats and more meal prep. I want to meal prep more. I've been better at meal prepping, but still not great. And I've been Uber Eating on my days off a lot. So we don't want to do that. Five minutes of quiet time with God per day. I've been so bad at prioritizing that. I want to do, I have a little devotional in my Bible and a journal. And I want to do better at that. At least five minutes a day. I want to furnish this new apartment to my liking. I'm so bad at like waiting and being like, oh, we'll do it next time. Oh, we'll do it soon. No. This place, I don't know if I'll be here. I don't know if I'll resign my lease. We have to see where I'm at, at that time. But I, why wait? I want to furnish it to how I love right away. Um, no blacking out. I just want to drink for fun, get drunk with my friends, but I don't want to black out. We're mature now. I want to make more coffee at home and less Starbucks. We'll see how that happens. But my espresso is really good and I need to utilize it. I want to run a 5K. I just randomly decided that. Um, don't know how a training or entering goes, but... It's a goal of mine. I want to go to Europe. We have some plans in the works, but I want to go to Europe. I want to find my person, and I know you can't just be like, my goal is to get a boyfriend. Like, I know it'll happen with God's timing, but it would be so wonderful if I did. So we're just kind of like going to put that in there. Because when the right person comes, it'll be so great. But I know that's on God's timing. I want to go outside at least one times a, per times per day. I didn't do that today, but normally I do that every single day. Today's just different. More girls' nights. I love girls' nights, games' nights, wine nights, and lots of trips. I want to be a spontaneous trip planner. I want to show up 15 minutes early for a report at work. I'm so bad. I'm getting there right on time. But I want to be nice and be the one who gets there early. And everyone's like, oh, thank goodness I'm getting a report to Anna. Like, she's always early. I'm not that girl right now. Massages. I want to take care of my body, and it deserves massages. I at least want to get one once a month or once every few months because my body deserves it and needs it. Cabo or Cancun trip. I want to do a tropical trip. I want to get invited to Coachella by a brand. Last year I went to a Revolve Festival, but I wasn't like with Revolve. So I want to get invited by a brand. I want to deep clean once a week. Normally I just wait until it's like dirty or looks dirty, but I want to do a heavy deep clean once a week and keep this apartment very clean. I want to gossip less. I know you're going to be like, oh, you gossip, but like everyone has a tendency when they're with people to do that. And I just don't want to do that or partake in that. More private life. I want to live that private but not secret life. Whether it be a boyfriend, whether it be more personal information. I still want to be an influencer. That's my job. It's just very hard to balance. But I want to do better at, like, not posting, like, too much information, you know? I want to go to church on Sundays, whether that be in person. I want to find one or watching an online service. I just want to grow my faith better and get back to that. Blow out hair post shower. I'm so lazy about letting it air dry, but if I just blow it out and use my Dyson, right when I get out of the shower, I'll be set up for the week better and feel better about myself. I want to not follow unattainable accounts on Instagram unless they're inspo. Inspo is great, but if they're just pretty girls who make me feel like crap about myself, not their fault, but I just need to unfollow negative energy in my life. Not that they give negative energy. Do you guys know what I'm meaning? But also people who don't give negative energy I need to unfollow. Um... I want to get invited on more brand trips, whether it be for my management or other brands. I want to find my niche. I know you're not supposed to niche on TikTok, but I kind of want to find the video style that lands with people because I see a lot of people get a video style and it blows up, and I hope people, like, I want to find that. I can't figure it out. Right now I'm doing day in my life vlogs, but I need to do different kinds and do a better editing style and focus more on my clips I get. I want to start Pinterest more. I want to donate clothes. I'm so bad about that. Um, give to friends, donate, take to donation centers. I want to have tea at night. I want to be a tea girl and have that to settle down. I want to listen to more educational podcasts because if I'm listening to a podcast, I want it to be educational and enlighten myself. Not just like, call daddy. Not that I listen to that right now. And it's okay if you do. I want to figure out how to plan to set aside money and figure out that and like keep track of my money better. I want to work out for joy. We're going to get better about that. Um, sometimes I do work out for joy, but I want to do it less for like feeling guilty. I want to FaceTime a friend once a week. This is big. Like, live, Coco, anyone. Stay in touch. Like, a long-distance friend. And I want to FaceTime my dad once a day. I'm pretty good at that. Maybe every other day. But I want to do them every day. More water. I need to be better at drinking about water. I drink, like, all these random drinks. But I need to drink more water. I have my Stanley Cup, so hopefully that'll help. 
I want to find a new artist that I'm obsessed with. Like one that I resonate, like a music artist, and just find one that I love. I don't have one that I like resonate and love. I want to be more carefree and happy. I just want to be that bubbly Anna and just carefree let go. I want to get rid of clothes every time I get new ones. I want to use this planner. I want to journal my thoughts. And I want to invest in nice jewelry. So those are what I did. And then let me show you guys my vision board. Right now it's my desktop background and it is so beautiful. And look how good that looks. Okay, it kind of cuts off. But let me show you on my phone, like, and I'll talk about each one. All right, so the top, obviously money, making money, brand deals. That's a cozy little healthy relationship. Girls' Night In, Paris with friends. That's a, supposed to represent a clean home. You are a effing queen. Start acting like one for confidence. This is for meal prepping, skincare, drinking water, furnishing my apartment, hair care, having success in all platforms and in life, Cabo trip, nursing, um, Coachella, sunsets, I want to see more sunsets as well, reading, working out, massages, carefree, and yeah, I just love her, and I think she looks so good, I'm so proud I used Canva. Alright, that felt good, now I have some goals and some visions. Now I'm going to take these boxes down to the trash, and then do a little deep clean. And then once we have all that, then we'll chill. Maybe do a workout, maybe not. is HelloFresh. So if you don't know what HelloFresh is, it is a pre-packaged delivery, meal delivery company and you can order them and you can pick from like all these different recipes. They have all these options. They have vegetarian, family, pescatarian. You can get it for four people. You can get it for two people. In college, I always always get it with my four roommates and we'd have family dinners. Now I get for two people so I can make it and then I can have the leftovers at work. So I'm going to be having one set tonight and then the other portion tomorrow for my meal prep. But HelloFresh just makes it so easy for people like me who are awful at cooking to cook and make these yummy delicious meals that like I normally could never make by myself. So tonight we're making lemony shrimp and couscous bowls. So the issue here is I accidentally threw away the meal card but here's an example of what the meal cards look like. They have a big picture, the ingredients you need, and the back is an easy step-by-step -step recipe process. So amazing and so foolproof like me. But the good part is you can look up any HelloFresh recipe and find it online. It's like lemony shrimp and coconut bowls. Lemony sh shrimp and couscous bowls. I don't know why it's a coconut. Oh yes, here it is. And then even online. Shows me the step-by-step. -step. So great. And the best part is they come like pre-portioned ingredients. So there's like no waste. You know you're gonna use everything in exactly that much. All right, so let's get to it. You've got New Year's goals and HelloFresh is here to help you achieve them. Skip the grocery store and take control of your time and budget with delicious recipes delivered right to your door. HelloFresh has fast and fresh recipes. Their latest line of meals featuring robust flavors and filling proportions are ready in less than 15 minutes. Enjoy taste and quality done quick with recipes like falafel power bowls, seared steak and potatoes, and southwest pork and bean burritos, and so much more. Eating well is at the top of the mind this month, and it's comforting to know that you can always get the top quality with HelloFresh. Ingredients travel from the farm to you in less than seven days, so you know they're fresh.
look at the final results. I slayed. This will be for work tomorrow night. This is for tonight. This is going to hit so hard and I already tried the shrimp and it's seasoned to perfection. I need to get oregano and be better at cooking. I mean, seasoning. But you guys can use my code. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code Anaheim21 for 21 free meals plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com and Anaheim21. Go do it, you guys. HelloFresh is the easiest and best way to get your um, these amazing recipes in because I literally could not do it without them. This is so pretty and I cannot wait to eat this. Mm. Okay, love you guys. Back to the video. Okay, I felt outside. I did one thing for the day that was outside. All right, it's now 1.30. I don't know how. I'm not somebody who stays in the house all day, but we did it. I don't know how the time went by. Like, I don't know what I did. I do feel productive and good. Uh, I've been stressing out planning out tomorrow because it's super awkward because if we have a nurse residency meeting, I found out it's at 4.30 instead of 8 a.m. That's hard because none of the Orange Theory classes available match up with it. It'd be nice if there was like a 2 p.m., but they take a break from 12 to 4. And I don't like to get up like multiple times. And I can't get up and work out at 12 and stay up all day and then all night. So I might have to do... And I don't know if I'm getting the lymphatic drainage or going to a showroom to try on this thing for this thing I'm going to next week. None of this makes sense, but basically I have like four different things I could do and I'm trying to figure out how to plan them best so I can stay awake at the hospital tomorrow night. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I think I'm going to vlog because I work, I work the next two, so I'll just do like a two shifts vlog, work a double with me. But that's it for the reset and the New Year's. We got some New Year's goals and a vision board now. So love that. Um, I'm going to have, I got these like little vanilla chocolate ice cream bars. What are those called? Ice cream sandwiches. And watch TV in bed. I still don't know what I'm deciding about tomorrow. I always set my alarm for like two and then I'll figure out if I'm getting a lymphatic massage or not. Do the meeting at 4.30. Go to a coffee shop, edit, listen to the meeting. And then there's an orange theory class at 545 and I'll just leave it like 20 minutes early and go to work from there. If I leave at 630, I should be okay. All right, I'm going to bed. I love you guys so much. Please, please, please subscribe. Tell your friends and I'll see you guys in the next vloggy. But that's it for the reset and the New Year's. We got some New Year's goals and a vision board now. So love that. Um, I'm going to have, I got these like little vanilla chocolate ice cream bars. What are those called? Ice cream sandwiches. And watch TV in bed. I still don't know what I'm deciding about tomorrow. But that's it for the reset and the New Year's. We got some New Year's goals and a vision board now. So love that. Um, I'm going to have, I got these like little vanilla chocolate ice cream bars. What are those called? Ice cream sandwiches. And watch TV in bed. I still don't know what I'm deciding about tomorrow.